And here are some additional examples that can be solved with L'Hopital's rule. The first one, the limit as x approaches 1 of e to the x minus e over 3 times the natural log of x. At x equals 1, both the numerator and the denominator evaluate to 0, so we can attempt to solve this by applying L'Hopital's rule, which means we'll take the limit as x approaches 1 of the derivative of the numerator, and that is just e to the x. The derivative of e to the x, remember, is e to the x, but e by itself is a constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So the derivative of the numerator is e to the x, and then in the denominator, we have 3 times the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x. And then as x approaches 1, this is just going to be e to the 1, which is e, over 3 times 1. So that's the answer, e over 3. In this one, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 7x minus sine x over x squared plus sine 3x. And at 0, this gives us 0 minus 0 over 0 plus 0. So let's try L'Hopital's rule. The limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator, and that will be 7 minus the cosine of x over the derivative of x squared is 2x plus, and the derivative of sine 3x will be 3 cosine 3x. And that 3 right there uh, appears because of the chain rule. But this expression can be evaluated at x equals 0. The cosine of 0 is 1, so the numerator is 7 minus 1, which is just 6. And if x is 0, the 2x goes away, and we're left with the cosine of 0, which is 1, times that 3. So 6 over 3, and of course that simplifies to 2. And in this one, we have the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared minus 16 over negative 1 plus 3 to the power of x minus 4. And you can see that at x equals 4, we have uh, 4 squared, that's 16 minus 16, 0 in the numerator. And in the denominator, negative 1 plus 3 to the 0. And the 3 to the 0 right there is 1, so negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So let's try L'Hopital's rule. This will equal the limit as x approaches 4 of the derivative of the numerator, which is 2x, over the derivative of the denominator. And if we do this term by term, the derivative of the negative 1 is just 0, and the derivative of 3 to the x minus 4 will be 3 to the power of x minus 4 times the natural log of 3. And then this can be evaluated at x equals 4. Uh, 2 times 4 is just 8. And then down here, this will be 3 to the power of 0, which is 1, times the natural log of 3. That's just natural log of 3. So 8 over the natural log of 3 is the answer. And that's approximately equal to 7.28.